Hey friends, this is Namrata. Hope you're all doing good. This is a continuation of uh, Salesforce Lightning Scheduler Concurrent Scheduling session. We, we discussed about how to configure concurrent scheduling and we also did an end-to-end -end demo. Today, we will be discussing on how we can go ahead and schedule maximum number of appointments using concurrent scheduling. So I will go ahead and uh, provide you a demo on how to set up a concurrent scheduling for maximum number of the appointments. But before we go into the demo, I just wanted to give a quick overview about our channel. So uh, this is our channel, SFDC One Stop, where we have created different playlists uh, covering different uh, topics in Sales Cloud, Service Cloud, and Experience Cloud. And we also cover generic topics related to summer release, um, uh, you know, different releases uh, topics in our channel. So here you can navigate to the playlist. And here you can see that um, there are certain playlists created uh, based upon um, uh, like Salesforce CPQ reports and dashboards. There are five videos in that uh, a small some introduction about what is Salesforce for the beginner's guide. We have a couple of videos related to the experience cloud. Likewise, we have a lot of videos related to service cloud. Uh, you can navigate to the specific uh, channel and you can uh, uh, refer to which specific topic you are looking out for. Okay, so this is uh, uh, just overview about our ch channel. Now let us get into our uh, demo. So let's open the same demo org which we have been using from a couple of days. So this is my Salesforce um, development uh, org for the Lightning Scheduler. So if you recall, we have um, uh, configured the service territory. We also configured the service resources, work type groups, work type and the operating hours. So we have set up normal scheduling. We went ahead and scheduled the appointment using the normal operating hours. And then we also went ahead and scheduled uh, the appointments using the concurrent uh, operating hours. So today we'll see how we can go ahead and schedule maximum number of um, appointments um, using the Lightning uh, Scheduler. So first what we have to do is navigate to the operating hours. If you recall, we have created uh, the specific operating hours for concurrent, which is the Blue HQ concurrent operating hours. Let us click on this and um, let's go ahead and edit it. Here you can see that we have set the concurrent uh, service appointment windows. From Monday to Saturday, we have scheduled the appointment windows and we have chosen the start, ti start time and end time. This is where we set up the maximum number of the appointments. So the minimum number of the appointment is two and maximum number of appointments is uh, thousand. In my previous video, I think by mistake, I have set it as hundred. However, it is not hundred, it is thousand maximum appointments. And this is the work type group. Um, this, this work type group is something which I have created in my earlier video session. You can refer that how we can go ahead and club all of these and uh, you know uh, create an end-to-end -end, um, um, end -end scheduling um, appointment. So uh, here, if you can see, based upon your business requirement, uh, you can go ahead and uh, schedule or you can go ahead and give the maximum number of the appointments. Here you can see that for Friday slot, I have given it as um, uh, maximum number of the appointment as uh, three. However, if you want to choose, you can go ahead and choose um, any of the time slots. Let's choose this one as two. That is Monday, I've chosen two maximum number of the appointments. We will see what this maximum number of the appointment uh, meant to us when we go ahead and schedule the appointment. So it's basically when the user tries to schedule an appointment, how exactly he will be seeing the appointment slots um, uh, for the user. So we'll try to go ahead and check uh, how does this reflect in the real time scenario. So uh, just remember for the Thursday we have just given two and for Friday we have given that three and click on save. So this is where you go ahead and schedule, sorry, this is where you go ahead and configure your maximum appointments. Click on save. Now uh, let's go to the account and use the same account, SFDC One Stop account. And uh, we will schedule an appointment using the, uh, on this specific account. So um, as a shortcut, we already have this. So I'm using the same service resource. Yeah, I'm using the work type group which we have created. That is the WAHQ concurrent work type group. Click on next. This is something uh, it is not needed. Then choose the service territory. This is also something which we have discussed in my earlier videos. Please go ahead and refer those. 
and um, yeah so the next available slots is wednesday thursday friday so these and all are the number of the slots which are um, available so let's go to previous so if you recall for the thursday i have given it as two time slots so let me select uh, from 9 to 9 30 next and click on next appointment will get scheduled successfully now let us try to schedule another appointment for the same account for the same time slot yeah so i'm choosing the same service resource click on next um, then select the same service um, sorry work type group click on next next here choose the service territory again click on next and here for the Thursday, um, again, you if you recall, uh, I'm still able to see this particular time slot, right? So let us see why I'm able to see the time slot. Uh, now, uh, already I've chosen 9 to 9.30 in my earlier appointment, right? So this is the second time I'm going ahead and choosing the same time slot. Click on next for the Thursday. Just remember that. Click on next. So I schedule an appointment. So if you recall in our uh, operating hours, for the concurrent operating hours click on edit so what we have done for the thursday i have given the maximum number of the appointment is uh, two right now let us go back to the account open this account click on schedule appointment choose um, the same service um, resource work type group next cell view yeah click on next and here if you see 9 to 9.30 time slot is vanished. Why? Because we have chosen the maximum number of the concurrent appointments for the specific time slot that is 9 to 9.30. If you recall, we have given the definition like 30 minutes, right? So 30 minutes time slot is something which we have configured in our earlier video sessions as well. So during that duration, you can schedule two concurrent appointments at the same time that is why time slot 9 to 9 30 is not being displayed over here only the other time slots after 9 30 a.m uh, till 5 uh, p.m the time slots are visible to the user so this is how you can go ahead and schedule or sorry this is how you can go ahead and configure the maximum number of the concurrent uh, scheduling appointments based upon your business requirement if your business requirement is say thousand so it means that for the specific duration of the time you can schedule thousand concurrent appointments for the same account so as i was um, uh, giving you the example right there could be an instance wherein you have a training session between 9 to 10 and there are a number of the students who want to go ahead and book an appointment during the training session right so uh, in those scenarios you can make use of the concurrent uh, scheduling okay so i hope you had some clear understanding about uh, the lightning scheduler different topics that we have covered in the lightning scheduler like concurrent scheduling and maximum number of concurrent uh, scheduling so that's all we have for today's topic our next topic will be related to uh, so experience cloud. Until then, take care, stay safe, have a nice day. Signing off, uh, Namrata. Bye-bye.